Hi everybody! I hope you're having a really good week and uh, you've not been caught by all this really awful weather that we're having uh, here in York at the moment. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's blog which was all about overwhelm and I chose that because it seems at the moment uh, quite a few of you are, um, are really struggling with having so much to do and not really knowing where to start and how to see your way through it all. I think sometimes when the spring comes and we've cleared away all the winter and we're ready for this enormously wonderful rebirth into the new year, it suddenly dawns on us just how much we have to do and that we know that winter is going to be coming around soon enough and we have this urgent feel that we need to get it all done by then. And so then what follows is this kind of feeling of, oh, I just can't do it. Now, I know I talk a lot about thoughts and how we can deal with just these thoughts that come in and out of our heads. Um, but sometimes I recognise that you need some tips and techniques how to deal with it too. So I hope you enjoyed my blog about overwhelm and how you could practically um, kind of deal with some of this stuff. However, what the response I've had, which has been amazing, but one of the things that came out of it was really the first stage, which was um, how, how you get everything that's in your head on a piece of paper. So if you're feeling very overwhelmed, you just write everything down on a huge list, on, a, on a, a brain dump list, as I call it. And the feedback that I've had is, well, does that really make you feel any better? Because there you have it in black and white, just how much stuff you've got to do. Um, doesn't that make you feel worse? Well, in my experience, it can do. It can do if you allow it to. And if you allow that mental process to go off on one, say, oh my goodness me, just how much stuff have I got to do? Or we can flip it and say, right, I now have control. I now know what I have to do. It's no longer in my head. I'm not gonna forget anything because I have it on this piece of paper. It's now contained, it's all in one place. And then the trick is to start to organize it. And so here are a few extra tips that I didn't include in my blog that might help you. So first of all, as I say, you know, be really, really disciplined, okay, about this. What you have done by um, putting everything on this piece of paper is the first step to control. Okay, to organisation, to feeling great. So just stay calm at this point. The next is to organise it. And I mentioned this on my, on my blog. So get that black pen and circle all those ones that really could wait quite a long time. Okay, the red ones, circle in red, the ones that you need to do, you know, within the next couple of days. And, and then you'll have some left and you can prioritise the rest. You can use different colours, you can use green for needs to be done in a week, uh, blue that needs to be done in the next two weeks. You know, whatever kind of floats your boat, but in, make sure that you put it in order of priority so that you know what you have to do. Because um, my, my dad was a great one for stuff like this and he used to say, you know, you can't eat an apple all at once. You just can't. And you can't do everything all at once. So you have to decide where, where's your first bite going to be in this big list? Where are you going to start? Okay, so the next big tip really is to, to be realistic in what you can achieve. So if you have 85 things that all need to be done this afternoon, you're not going to get that done. So choose one, choose one that you can do, one that really truly needs to be done. Um, and so be kind to yourself. Okay, sometimes we set ourselves up to fail because we, we give ourselves far too much to do and, and, and we know we're not going to achieve it. And then later on we say, see, couldn't do it. <laughs> so, so try not to do that. Be realistic in, in the goal that you're setting yourself. Okay. And then once you've done this, once you've gone through this process of dumping all this stuff out of your brain, organising it, which is a huge task, Go change your state, okay? Go do something else. Go dance in the kitchen, make yourself a lovely coffee and have a piece of cake and a sit in the garden if the sun is shining. As uh, you know, just just to say well done to you. Go go out, go talk to somebody. 
just so that you can get some distance away from what you've done, which is an enormous task, and then before you start to tackle it. And then when you come back, you'll feel refreshed, re-energised and just raring to go. OK, I hope that really helps. Let me know your feedback. I'd love to know. This is going up on my Facebook page and on my YouTube channel. So I'd love to know your comments uh, and just leave your feedback in the comments box below. OK, bye now. Bye.